So a few weeks ago, I gave the girls a test on Appalachian language. Uh, and then we if, failed! You know, <laughs> if they didn't do very well, they had to clean off my garden and plant my turnips. So they did that because they didn't do very well. So I'm not sure what I'll make them do today. Hmm. I'll think of something though. Let's clean the toilet. <laughs> but we're going to uh, test them on some more words. And for the last video, which I will link to, a lot of people said, oh, well, those words are not just used in Appalachia. They are absolutely right. These words, a lot of the old words, they came with the first settlers and they remained in places like Appalachia where people kind of stayed for generations. So if your family come through this way but went on out west and then they ended up staying there for several generations, those world words, they just went right with them and they're still using them today, which is wonderful. And I'm thankful that they're, these words are used all over because they're just great words. I love language. Okay, you ready girls? Challenge accepted. Okay, the very first one's not really. Some of these are, fra some of these are uh -huh. <laughs> phrases and some of them are words. So calf rope. Like, you have to rope, like, it's hard to rope a cow. You know, I saw somebody one time rope a cow. They tried to. Turns out they come up on the calf, and the calf all at once bucked, hit him in the head, and they knocked out. They passed out. So, <laughs> it hit that man hard. I know it hurt. To Ooh. calf rope something would be like. To, it, like, capture it, and it would to be get hard. It. Okay. To tie it down. So, really what calf rope is, it's kind of like saying stop. So if somebody's bothering you, maybe your dad's wrestling you when you're little. And you say calf rope? You say calf rope because you give up. Okay, I've never heard that. Okay, I would have said tap out. WWE style. Okay. Case, Unless UFC. Never here's mind. your next one. Case knife. Do you That's know what case knife? Yeah, it's a butter knife. knife. Okay, very good. And I said that this morning, and you must be rubbing off because I never say that. I'm like, I need a butter knife, but I called it a case knife this morning, did I not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. weird. Well, if you get a catch in your back, what does that mean? You pulled it out, it hurts. Yeah, just like a crick. Crick. Yeah, you got that. No, right. Charlie horse. What does disfurnish? If you disfurnish somebody, what does that mean? Take away their credibility. You X them out of your life. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I would do. Yeah. Both of those would work. It just means you inconvenience somebody. So I might say, I don't want to disfurnish you, but uh, I need you to take me to town. I don't want to disfurnish you, but I need you to get out. Yeah. If something draws up, what does that mean? It shrinks. There you go. <laughs> what if something dwindles down? It you run out you of run it. Run out of it. The decline. Oh, it's too bad. We're dwindling down on all the goodies and the candy. Um, the candy, which is I don't even be eating the candy. That's a good thing. So what if you fall to something? What do you mean? Put it in sense. So. Uh, they picked up their instruments and they were making music and he just fell to dance. Because you just get you to just it. You start doing right, it. Right, and just began. Yeah. What's flowery if something's flowery? It's pretty. Got flowers on it? Right. Well, it could be pretty because yeah. the floral is pretty. Yeah. So, what about um, if I would say, which I do say, that Corey, I think, looks like the Presleys and Katie looks like the Wilsons, but what's another way of saying that? I say... Mm -hmm. Right, favor. So if you favor someone, Katie favors the Wilson. What if someone told you you were like a flint rock? You're tough. Right. Well, maybe. You mean you're sparky. <laughs> you're tough. Flint rock. Tough as a flint rock. It means you can be more than could be, <laughs> could be uh, something as tough as a flint rock. Hopefully it's not like your steak you're eating. Or something. Yeah, that would yeah, that would be poor. So if you get clean of something, what are you doing? You get, get shed rid of, of it. it. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get rid of I wash my hands of this. It's your problem now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you wash your hands. Oh, you're holding down your eye. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> what I'm going to take my glass eye out and it's going to be someone else's problem. <laughs> no glass eyes. Uh, no, that's not funny because I went to school with someone who did. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, fruit. The stuff you eat. Yeah, but fruit of your labor. But in Appalachia, what's mostly a goodie. called fruit? A goodie, something extra, something special. The kitties got oranges at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> if Granny opens a jar of fruit, what oh, is she? Oh, jelly. <laughs> <laughs> a jar of fruit? I'm thinking one of them cans of pears what are you that I ate to as a kid. To me? So traditionally in Appalachia, fruit is apples. So it's apples, because that's really, that was the main fruit. So you've never heard Granny say, I'm going to open a jar of fruit, and I'm going to make some no, uh, maybe. baked pies. Maybe. Yeah, if she did, I'd probably be like, what are you talking about, Granny? She'd be like, oh, you know, doll. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what if you get foundered? You eat too much of something, you do too much of something, and it's too much, and now you have bad consequences. 
Yeah. It's like you let your horse get foundered and now it's ruined. You might mm -hmm. as well. But people can get foundered too. Yes. Christmas uh, dinner. What if you're fleshy? It means you're fat. <laughs> I'm not going to sugar. You got some extra meat on okay. the old skeleton. <laughs> What if you're figuring on something? It means you're trying to figure it, it you're out. You're trying to figure out. You're studying. On. You're figuring it out. You're coming up with a math to make your situation right. whatever it's got to be. Figuring your what boards you need or something. You're doing some math. And Daddy says right. it all the time. Shut up, Katie. I'm figuring. Yeah. There you <laughs> Stop go. talking, Katie. What if something galled you? It burns you. It surprises you. It hurts you. <laughs> you outrage. <laughs> Well, yeah, sometimes it's galled is like to chafe, like, but also it can be that galls my hide, like Makes that made me really upset. mad. Yeah. It pushes all my buttons. So literally in, uh, figuratively, yeah. Garb, what's your garb? What you wear. What you wear. This right. is my garb right now. And then yeah. later, I'm going to um, go to your closet and put on your garb. <laughs> what if you have a gob of something? You have a lot yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. This is getting to be When you're like, beating me to the punch line, I'm pretty. slow. Joking. What if uh, someone calls you a heifer? What do they mean? Again, lots of meat on the old skeleton. Doesn't it also mean that you're a single lady? No. No. Maybe a not, a very, may, not very nice lady. Yeah. You're oh, yeah. I thought they, nice. they use that term. They do use that term in cattle. Maybe that means a cow that's done weaned its baby. Well, I that's mean, that I is a cow, is. literally. But, I mean, yes, it is. But a lot of times people will refer to maybe a woman that's very hateful as a heifer. Uh -huh. That old he heifer. That's Don't have nothing to do with her weight. Nah, uh, not really. Because I was thinking, yeah, the, yeah, wow. Well, okay. okay. If you hew something, what do you do? It's you like they went down. The house is like wood. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Shave it. Hand hewn, whatever they say. Yeah. Hand hewn logs. Yeah. Hewn out of the mountainside. Yeah. What if you heave up? What if something You're stocking up? up. <laughs> I thought, like, heave up, like, a heap. That's a heap being. I got the P in the V. I thought you mean, like, bleh. Kind of heave up means you heave it up over your head because you had to yeah. put it on the tallest shelf. Yeah. So um, the, the ground heaves up when it frosts really big or something, fre freezes. What if you hem something up? Corner it. You've got to hem it into the corner. That's what I do with my chickens when I have to run them down. I hem them in a corner and then I get them. What if you get all head up? You're, You're mad. You're angry. You're upset. in a fuss. What's something that's hub deep? What does that mean if it was hub deep? It's as deep as the deep. hubs on your car. On your truck. And you have to get out and lock the hubs. Daddy had lots of trucks like that. Remember doing that? Yeah. I have, I have a funny story about that. One time there was a guy um, down the road that we were playing music with. And I remember he's bringing me home. And he needed to do that on his truck. And he got to the bottom of the driveway. And the truck was a stick shift. And he tried to keep his foot on the brake while he went outside the car to do that. And I said, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I have to lock the hubs. I said, I can do that. You could have asked me. <laughs> but actually, if I... I think back we weren't actually at the bottom of the driveway. We were at almost the very top and he should have done that before oh, he started nice. and we were just sitting there. Wow. That's what daddy always said. Now sit still and please don't put the car in gear and please don't pull the emergency brake. I'm just going to lock the hubs. Please don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's a poke? The stuff you eat. Like poke salad or like a poke is in a mound. A pig. Poking a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Get a blanket. It's a bag. I've never heard it as that. Okay. You've never heard Granny say, "Get me a poke." No. no. Oh Lord. Okay. What if somebody's harping? They like just they're really on, on something on and on, harping on the point. What if somebody's high headed? They're, like they're snooty. Snooty. Mm -hmm. This this is one you just mentioned a minute ago. What does it mean if you have a heap? A lot of something. Mm -hmm. A heaping pile of seventies polyester. That's what I want. Quail eggs. Heaping pile of quail eggs. <laughs> a heaping pile of quail eggs. Okay. Yeah. What if you're ill? You're angry. You're upset at something. No one in this house is ever ill, are they? I said that on a daily basis. I'm, I'm, I'm in such an ill mood. I'm really I'm sorry really for my bad behavior. <laughs> okay. What does ideal mean? If something's ideal, that's how you want well, it to go. Well, that's a trick question because that really is that. But but you know someone that says if they have an idea, they say ideal. Ideal, yeah. Mom says that all the time. That's what I She's say. Like, I have a good idea. Let's go down here, and I'm like, no, mom, you have yeah. a good idea. So that one's tricky because there's two. What if there's something's jaggedy? It's, it's sharp. All rough it's all edge. rough on the edges. You messed it up, and look at what you've done. What does job mean besides so, the employment? To like poke something if you get jobbed with a stick or something like that. And Ricky Bobby, don't job yourself in the leg with that knife. 
What about gym jams? Pajamas. No. no. Nervous. You've you've got the nerves about you. Katie got that one right. Hmm. What's her sponge? A noise that a rock makes when it falls into the river. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I just guessed. I thought that wasn't right. It's a big splash. Wow, I yeah. just totally pulled that off. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. You know what a leader is like in your body? What a leader is? Like a leading vein? Yeah, veins. you probably heard Pap say that. Not really your veins, but your tendons, like that big leader. I think or I heard Katie one time. cut the leader in her finger one time. Yeah, I remember him saying that. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what if you lope? You, you just. You skip, skip you, you lope off yeah. like a horse does. Yeah. Like an antelope. Like a gallop. Yeah, I like a gallop. What's a miller? A moth. A moth. Alright, y'all got that one. Because when we were kids, they'd tell us if we weren't good, the mothman would come after us, which just actually really freaked me out, but whatever. Yeah, I was scared of mothman. <laughs> hey, a couple days ago, I was in the basement. Now, we did not tell you that. No, no somebody, somebody else did, because they knew they'd have to hear me cry about it at night. I was in the basement, and I opened the door, and the light was on, it was dark outside, and in come this moth, and the thing was like this big. And it started flying around, and I felt bad, so I thought, okay, I'm going to have to try to get it outside. The thing come after me, and started flying around my head, and I thought to myself, all right, then you've sealed your fate. I'm not going to try to help you out. That really just made me angry. So I went to bed, and I come back down there the next day, and there it was on the window. So I tried to get it out, but then it got in a spider web, and it was just a really bad ordeal. But I finally got the thing outside, and then it just taunted me by flying right up next to me, taking a look for a minute and being like, mm, and then it left, so... So that was a major miller there, huh? That thing freaked me out. It was like that wide, Why are too. Why you sitting like that? That looks so uncomfortable. I don't know it's comfortable to me. So, what is Kjarn? If you, it, what does that mean? Kjarn? Reminds me of a boy I went to school with named Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> he was Jamaican. He's a big old boy, too. Yeah. Nice kid. If something smells Kjarny. All I can think about is Christmas time and Killarney. <laughs> <laughs> or corn. <laughs> So that's really like a corruption of the word carrion, but so it's beef. Some meat. smells dead. Smells, oh, yeah. huh. smells carrion? Yarn. What do you Kyarny. mean? Yarny. Some people but say yarny. Meat. C y r a n. Carrion. Carrion? Yeah, carrion. Something smells yeah. carny. Uh, like Spanish for like carne meat. It ain't Spanish. No, it's, it's not Spanish. That's not <laughs> Spanish either. Okay, what if you have a mite? Like a mite. chicken mite? No. Like a mite. <laughs> plenty of something. A mite something. Like an amount. Like mite means a little bit. Right. Mite means a little like bit. Like a tiny chicken mite. Yeah. <laughs> what does mortally mean? Mortally wounded. Mortally hurt. It means grave. Serious. You know. Like extreme. So it could be mortally fast. It also too. means that you have no magic because you're immortal. <laughs> <laughs> this is Halloween. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Um, just kidding. Hmm. Mortally, though, is like, like extreme. Serious. Like extreme. So, mortally fast. Mortally serious. Yeah. Okay. What if you get married off? Somebody here is about to get married off. It means you're leaving and I'm taking your bedroom. It just means you're getting married. Uh -huh. When your family gets to dump you on the next family. <laughs> Instead of saying, oh, my, my sister got married. My <laughs> sister got married off. <clears throat> yeah. That's interesting. So, what if you meal over something? You think it over. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Right, Corey, you think it over? Yes. What's... Yeah, <laughs> cut that out. That's yeah. me burping because of the liquor. Please <laughs> cut know. that out. What's stripity? Something stri has stripes. There's more to it than that, though, I feel like. That snake is stripity. Stripes. That's pretty much it. Don't stripity. pick it up. Okay, one more. Notion. Like, you take a notion to do something. I'm gonna... I took a notion to clean my room more. So we would say, I take a notion instead of I decided. Like, I took a notion to get in the car and go down the road and loaf for a little bit instead of doing what I was supposed to do. I took a notion to lose my car keys, and I've been looking them for them yeah, for an I hour. I lost Katie's car keys today, or yesterday, or the day before. No one knows when they disappeared. So everyone send us thoughts of finding car yeah. keys. <laughs> yeah. I don't have momentum breakdown. I want my car keys back. Okay, well, y'all did way better on this one. Have you been studying? Maybe. The other one are these were easier. I just didn't want to do the consequences, so I just thought really hard to myself. You didn't like try. planting the turnips and no. cutting off the garden. <laughs> if, the, if your ATV sounds like that, son, you 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 must be getting it. That's that's ATVs ready for the highway better than most cars on the highway. You'd be really getting somewhere like that. Okay. It's a sick ATV. 
So we hope everybody enjoyed the test since the girls did a little bit better. We'll have to do another one if you enjoyed this one like you did the other one as much as that one. It seemed to be very popular. And talking about Appalachian language is something I dearly, I mortally, mortally love to talk about Appalachian language so we can do some more. Be sure to drop back by and help us celebrate Appalachia, which includes a lot of Appalachian language. Mm -hmm. I gotta go because there's a miller behind me. <laughs>